you. So you heard the news, right? Uh, Hannah O'Connor's been arrested. Looks like our frame job worked. Who told you the frame worked? Well, uh, she was arrested, wasn't she? I mean, look, Elijah, I um, did exactly what you told me to do in that letter. I, I called the cops, and I, I told them that Hannah was the one that bashed my head in, not you. Good. I know you better stick to that story. I'll have to come back and finish what I started. Relax. As far as the cops know, Hannah's guilty. I mean, they arrested her, right? You think she'll go down without a fight? Well, that's her word against mine. And everybody knows she's a crazy nut job. So, no worries. No one will ever know that you attacked me. Except you. Well, lucky for you, I've got a hard head. Otherwise, you might be facing murder charges. Mm -hmm. Robert, I don't like to be blackmailed. Yeah, well, the truth is, I didn't like doing it. I mean, seriously. I, I, the only reason why I asked for more money that night is because I wanted out. I mean, after that whole mess with Langston and then Jessica, dude, I just wanted to get some extra cash you know, on the first plane out of here. So, like I said, Eli, your secret, safe with me. So, uh, why Hannah? I mean, what do you have against her? Uh, nothing, actually. She was convenient. <laughs> Hannah? Convenient. I obviously never met her. No, but you have, haven't you? And all kinds of people know how distraught she was when you broke up with her. And how crazy she's been acting ever since. So, having her locked up made her the perfect scapegoat and killed two birds with one stone. Two birds? Who's the other bird? Thought you were finished asking questions. I'm in. Sorry, I didn't realize that birds were off the menu. <laughs> Got a great sense of humor, Robert. I like that. My only problem is I don't know when to expect it. So I'm thinking the smart move would be to finish you off. Okay. Uh, then what? I mean, Hannah's in custody. You gonna dump me in a pool? You can't pin this one on her. Don't try to outthink me, Robert. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm just... And if we're talking about smart moves, let's not forget that I know who you really are. Hey, hi. Uh, did you get my text? Uh, no, sorry, I haven't checked my phone. Gigi and I are sort of taking the evening off. I was just wondering if you had any luck in tracking down Bennett Thompson. Are you threatening me for it? No, I wouldn't do that. And I'm not looking for a fight either. I'm just trying to remind you of what could happen. If what? Well, if something were to happen to me. I mean, it'd be a real shame if people found out that Elijah Clark was really Bennett Thompson. Oh, well, I did a pretty thorough search. Uh, it turns out there are over 2,000 Bennett Thompsons in the United States alone. Ooh, well, that's why I hired you. I didn't know where to start. Right, uh, so I started checking him off, starting in California where your mom died. Well, any likely suspects? Not in California. Uh, none of them fit the profile, but I am going to start making my way east starting first thing tomorrow. Like I said, right now, Gigi You're and I... You're taking tonight. Say no more. Have a happy fourth. Two. Bye. Bye. So, any luck? Not yet. Are you sure that this Bennett Thompson guy really killed your mother? Well, there has to be a reason why she left the name in the vase. You sure you want to go down that road, Kelly? What do you mean? It's not going to bring your mother back. And if this Bennett guy really is a killer, the last thing you want to do is get close to him. You are threatening me. Oh, dude, I'm just... I'm just pointing out what could happen. Now, look, I know I'm in over my head here. I was just trying to get some, some extra cash, and I had no idea how desperate you were. Desperate? That's a strong word. Well, you tried to kill me. If that's not desperate, then... Ouch. Now, listen, I'm willing to, to just let this go. But I'm telling you, if anything happens to me, the Sun is going to get a full report about Elijah Clark, a.k.a. Bennett Thompson. I wrote it all out. Did you now? Yeah, several copies, actually. So if you want to keep your cozy little life here with Blair, then you just better back off. 
Leave me alone. Because, you know, I could put a package in Todd Manning's mailbox, and I don't think I need to tell you that Todd Manning's pretty protective of his ex-wife, so... Oh, hi. Have you hey. seen Elijah Clark? I think he went in there. In there? Oh, thank you. Huh. You pathetic Elijah, piece of... It's... What's going on? Are you torturing this poor boy? Huh. <laughs> I, mean, I told you not to worry. As much as I hate to admit it, though, I do love seeing you just a little bit jealous. <laughs> well, I just thought it best here to put Ford on notice. No trespassing, young man. Of course not. Mm -hmm. So, do we understand each other? Yeah, I think we do. Claire? Ford? I know what you did. Jessica told me earlier that she told you it was her idea. She wasn't in her right mind. She couldn't give informed consent. That's rape. No, Brody, it wasn't rape. Nothing happened. I pushed him off me. Right? Tell him. You lied to me. So help me God. Nothing happened. Right, princess? We were just fooling around, okay? She pushed me off. And she left no harm, no foul, and no rape. Let him go. Brody, let him go. You stay away from her. Not a problem. <laughs>